Hi, I'm Christina from Two Peas in a Bucket, and it's time for our weekly warehouse walk. I'm not going to walk very far this week. I kind of brought everything all in one space because I have a lot of different things I want to show you. I don't know if you've seen on our site, but now we carry Sizzix. Um, and I wanted to show you some of the Tim Holtz dies because those are new to us, and I think they're new to everybody else too. Um, and so many of you that shop here are Tim Holtz fans. So I, I'm going to show you a couple of different ones. This is um, one of the border ones. I don't know if you can see. This is a film strip frame. It's a really nice and thin die. These run for $19.99. There's a couple of different borders. There's a ticket one, very Tim Holtz, um, an alphabet. Um, you can get all the letters of the alphabet and the numbers. And then they've got these really great ones that are called On the Edge. These are a five and a half inch die. They only create those two borders. It's only that big. So um, there's a cut there and a cut there. So they're really great for making cards and book pages and things like that, but not for a whole 12 by 12 page, but more for accessories. And there are a, a bunch of different ones of these. There's that one and a folder. Um, I can show you a couple at a time. Some different ones, different edges. This one is a scallop. And this one is, only has one. It's more of a flourish. Um, they also have... Um, a whole bunch of other things too I wanted to show you really quickly. These really nice embossing folders. You get a set of four of these embossing folders for, an, oh, I think it was $10.99 when I looked at it earlier. I don't know if you like to do embossing, but I think that's a pretty great deal. You can get all those different ones. And we also have ones that have just the two things. This is a dot. Everybody loves that stamp when we have a stamp that has just the dots. So this one would be a great um, alternative if you ever wanted to do that with your, with your cards and stuff to emboss a, a dot background on it. Okay, then we also have some other fun new dies, some spring dies, butterflies, and flourishes that are fun. But we also have a bunch of more Tim Holtz ones, as usual, like I was talking about. This one is the Caged Birds. These run for $19.99. You get the cage, and I think you get the bird also. Uh, let's see what else. Some flourishes. I'm going to go up to the top. Butterfly, very intricate. You can put some paper behind him. Some gadget gears, three different sizes on that one. That's my eyes. Hanging sign, so you get two different dies in there. Keyholes and keys. Hardware findings, sorry. Heart wings, kind of a cutout in that heart. The crown. This one looks like a crest. What else? What's over here? Ooh, this one's called Movers and Shapers. Yes. Cool. Keyholes are not included. Let's see. Here's the keyhole. There's the key. So you can put it inside that other that other size thing. That little frame. Okay. If you're going to do the on the edge die dies by him, they we also have the cutting pad. The thing I really like about the um, Sizzix products is they show you an exact recipe for how it is that you can go ahead and layer all of your things to cut the thing, cut the papers. So you need to have your cutting uh, pads with your paper in between and then your die and you sand, make a big sandwich and then you run it through your machine. I like that they do this a lot and all the accessories we have, we have those. Um, they have some really great border dies, which are a lot like the border punches, but you can just do them in one quick swoop, especially if you have a lot of them that you want to do. And it's really great, quick and easy. If you like, if you have a die cut machine and you use it a lot, I think these are really cool. I love that loop. And then they also have these ones which we purchased, which have been really hot. This one is um, the Create a Bow. You get those three little pieces and the buttons, and then put it all together, and you got yourself that traditional um, package bow. If you were making a ton of them, this would be a really great way to do it because then you don't have to um, buy them or make each one of them individually. Kind of nice. And then we have um, this 3D flower. Everybody's been putting 3D paper 3D flowers on their layouts. And there are quite a few tutorials online on how to cut a spiral and then put it all together. But if you want to make a ton of paper 3D flowers, this would be awesome, especially if you have a die cut machine because you could cut them in a lot of different um, different patterns of papers and different colors and just create a bunch of them all at once. You can make a great bouquets for teachers for the end of the school year, all different kinds of projects. Lots of fun stuff. Okay, seven gypsies, new hardware. 
They have these really great reinforcers. These are really heavy. And I like their packaging. They have a really nice new packaging. Very thick so they don't come through. But these are like um, reinforcers for like maybe like your uh, mini books and the keyholes and the ring holes. And I think they're adhesive. I didn't want to open the package and take them out. But I think that little white thing on the back is covering an adhesive. So you don't have to put them through your paper. You can just stick them right on, which I think is really handy. A new ring, door, door knocker kind of a thing or book knob or whatnot. Um, instead of rings, we have um, we have cable rings. Now we have rubber rings, which I think are really kind of cool. Definitely give it an altered look. These would be kind of cool too to use with some of the Tim Holtz products. Alter your book and use some um, rubber rubber rings instead of like your metal rings. Um, some new paper clips with the numbers that hang on them slide around. I like those. Um, book corners. We have these both in antique silver and antique gold. Really nice for the edges of your. Um, chipboard so that they don't wear and tear and unless that's what you want them to look like. Some ATC photo display kits. These don't necessarily have to be hanging on your ATC but they're fun to put stickers and other things on there. Um, stamp a thing, whatever. They have hooks on both ends so you could ring them all together, hang other things off the bottom like a little jewel or a, um, a dangler of some sort. And these are little jump rings. Oh, I don't know if you can see those inside that little tiny thing. But these are a bigger, thinner kind of a jump ring. Usually a jump ring is really tiny. Um, but these ones are actually look like they're more like a half an inch. You get quite a few in there in that tiny little um, container. Okay, another thing they have out is a printer tray. We have a couple of different ones um, from before that have like an ATC size hole and a 4x6 size hole. This one is a printer tray, so you have lots of different sizes. Obviously, a mock-up of um, your traditional printers where they would put all of their all of their alphabets and hold them in there. This one is brown with a silver handle. Uh, we have the black one coming in yet. This has been pretty popular. People are excited about that. Okay, and oh, I should show you really quickly. Sorry. There's a sample of what somebody what one of them did on the back. This one's to the side when they did that sample. So, okay, really quick, I want to show you a sneak peek really fast. We got some new color book products in today. I'm going to just really quickly go through these two collections. This is a, called Woodhaven. I don't know if you can see, this package of paper has four shaped papers in it and then four pearlescent papers, which are the cream and then this one right here. And it's kind of the burnt, woodsy, obviously, Woodhaven, but it's um, mostly brown and teal and gray. This is the paper pad. I'm just going to go through really quickly. Some glitter on some of those. And then we've got die cuts. I won't open that right now because I'm going to run out of time. We also have this one. Oh, geez, I forgot what this one's called. I think it's called okay, Sweet Blooms. I love these borders. Some of them are glittered. Some of them are not. Stickers. We have this one. This is a glitter punch-out pad. All these are border punch-outs, cards, shapes. All different kinds of fun stuff. Some of them have words, some of them glitter, some don't. More paper and a big giant die cut alphabet pad. But the most exciting thing is we got some new Heidi Grace. We have two new collections. This one, which has some banners on it, um, some really fun um, window frames and drawn bird cages, which are really exciting. It's nice to see her artwork again. There's those windows I was talking about. So we have that collection. I don't even remember what that one's called. And I have to go fully quickly. And then we have this one, which is called Sweet Whimsy. Um, this is a very traditional Heidi Grace with her flowers, some banners, a little mushroom, little flowers there, all different kinds of fun little icons. You know, her, um, her typical little doodlings and drawings. This is um, a transparency frame. You can kind of see all those there. I'm just going to quickly show you a few more of these pieces. There's a lot of accessories that are going to go with this. Some um, photo mats, which I won't take out. I don't have time. Great big giant punch alphabet pad. Look at all of those alphabets. It's paper pads. Look at those drawings. Wonderful. Also, really fast, along with this, look at this giant chipboard punch outs. 696 alphabet punch outs right there. That is one big, huge kit. Look at all that stuff you can get in that. Anyway, this is coming soon. So that's a little sneak peek of what's coming soon. And I hope you enjoyed seeing all that stuff. And we'll see you next week. Thanks.